<laughs> Excellent stuff. Thank you for joining us today. Um, as you can see, here in Greenwood Port, we have a very large property here. Um, ample, ample outdoor space. You'll see we've got car parking spaces for up to 50 cars. Um, we've also got a bike shed as well. Uh, and just outside of the entrance, of the, the, the entrance way, we've actually got the U2B, which is the university bus that goes through to the university. Um, travel times, you're looking anywhere sort of between just, just over 15 minutes to get to the university. If you're going to cycle, it'll probably take you eight. Um, and oh, car driving, again, same, probably about eight with traffic, you know, if, you're, if you're following the traffic routes. Um, so if you'd like to follow me and uh, we'll have a look around. Um, as mentioned, we've got some really good outdoor spaces here. Probably one of my favourite things about this property is that dotted around the property you'll see we've got lovely outdoor spaces, the sun's shining today, it's a beautiful day to be outside. Quite often uh, students will leave their rooms and, and come and sit and study in the outdoor spaces uh, and use the facilities. We've also got a common room just in the background. Follow me, let's go and have a look. So. The common room space itself, it's a great, it's a great space. Um, we use it for quite a few uh, various um, activities. Students are more than welcome to uh, book this book it out. So if they have meetings with sort of their societies, they, they can basically book this room out. Um, and we'd also use it for many of the social events that we put on. Coming through the entrance way over here, you'll see you've got some of your post boxes. You've got your post boxes. Um, this will be for your normal mailboxes. Any parcels that you get that sent to the building, we will actually sign for and we'll keep for you and we'll email you when they've arrived so that you can come pick up at a time convenient for you. Follow us through. Coming into the common room space. It's a lot cooler in here. <laughs> so, in the common room space, uh, you've got great big desk here for if you're doing some um, uh, combined work together or if you want to use it to sort of as a study table. We've also got a vending machine for your convenience. We've set the floor up so there's a one-way system so if it does get quite busy there's a one, one way in, one way out and that's just to help with the social distancing aspect uh, that we've all become quite familiar with. Uh, over here we have a little breakout area so if you wanted some tea and coffee while you're studying there's a little breakout area here for you to use. We've also then, just over here on the side, you'll see you've got the football table and the pool table when you want to take a bit of a break or if you, again, you have a social event and you want your, your peers to come and join you. And full amounts of space for, for chilling out. Um, we, again, we get students that use this, this space um, to study, they want a bit more of a comfortable sort of environment and it works really well. We've also got the tea that can be used. Um, I mean, that can be used for things like, you know, if you want PlayStation or Xbox or movie nights, we would use it. Uh, and we also have a little speaker here. So while you're studying, if you want a bit of back, uh, background ambience, you have that as an option as well. Let's go through. <laughs> Just up through to the back. Lovely decked area. And again, wonderful green spaces that can be used for you and your friends. Um, yeah, the sun, weather's beautiful like this. Uh, so, what we're going to have a look at doing from a tour perspective, we're going to now head over to the studio. Uh, we'll have a look at the studio rooms and then I will take you through around to some of our shared flats. Uh, we'll then look at a classic room and a standard room. So, follow me. Notice is one of the lovely things about Greenwood Court is because it is so open, you know, you're not in just one high rise building in the middle of the city, um, you're close enough to the university from a cycling perspective, but it's actually really lovely and quiet. And again, the outdoor spaces are incredible, as you can see, plenty of car parking spaces, as I mentioned earlier. So, in total, we have 50 car parking spaces, um, and that's free for students. Uh, if you get friends that wanted to come visit, which we always encourage, there's ample car parking space for them if they are driving. Um, again, there is the bus or there's a cycle shed, so they can cycle or catch the bus to come and see you. Let's have a look at that studio then. So, our 
studios are situated in block A. This is block A. Follow me. Right, so block A is where all our studios are. Um, we'll have a look today, we're going to show you Studio 3. All our studios are the same size, there's no difference in the size in the studios, but they are a wonderful space. Come in and have a look. So coming into the studio, you see it opens up large, very large sort of double bed for yourself. Um, you've got a pin board up on the wall, so if you want to put things like your calendars or photos of your friends, yourself and your friends, you've got ample underbed storage for suitcases once you've arrived. Um, if you Follow me through. You've also then got a really, really good sized desk in this room. Um, ample light, so you, you know you've got loads of natural light coming through as well. You have good storage, um, which you can store on top as well as in the shelving itself. You've also got a side drawer as well. Radiator for winter time, it keeps you nice and warm. And a little breakfast bar, so if you wanted to prepare your food and eat as well, you've got a little lovely little breakfast bar over here. Each studio comes with an oven. You've got a built-in chopping board to chop up your, your, uh, your, your food as you're cooking. <laughs> and you've got some lovely loads of ample cupboard space, drawers, cupboard space for your foods and goods. Microwave, you've got a microwave as well. And your own fridge freezer. One of the good things about the rooms as well, you'll notice the plug points, we've got USB ports as well, all the plug points come with USB ports. Um, clothes wise, you've got a full double wardrobe, so you've got ample space to hang your clothes, more space on top, a little bit of space on the top of the wardrobe as well, and you've got drawers, that basically two drawers as well, to fit your items of clothing in. If you go through the little passageway, you'll see your ensuite bathroom, and if you go all the way in, you'll see your very large shower. And that's our studio. We're going to head off and show you the classic room and the standard room. So if you'd like to follow me, uh, that's in block B, just around the corner. Uh, first off, we're gonna stop off, we're gonna show you the laundry, which is also in block A. So the laundry's on the second floor of block A. Do they have control of the radiators? Yes. <laughs> you do have control of the radiators. So Ollie's going to give you the questions as they come through. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our laundry room. As you'll see, you've got three washing machines and three dryers. Uh, this building has a total of 233 residents. Uh, this has been ample for us. We've not had any issues. Um, yeah, it's, uh, the great thing about it is it works on circuit. So there's an app that you download um, and you can top it up and you basically scan a QR, a QR code to get the machine to operate and leave and let you know when it's done. So you don't have to sit around and wait. Okay? Awesome. <laughs> Which one are we going to now? Standard or classic? So we will go to classic first. Yep. Classic. Like the intro.
can the reception help students collect packages? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So as far as packages go, we will collect the packages, the packages. we will accept them at reception, and then um, we will email you as well. So normally, when you get your packages delivered, the parcel delivery company will email you, but we will email you as well once it arrives and once it's on site. Um, you'll receive an email from us just letting you know that your parcel has been delivered as well. Excellent. As I mentioned before, it is absolutely beautiful day here in Southampton. Uh, one of the perks of living down in the south of England, it's actually quite tropical today. I think we've been we've had weather in the excess of like 30 degrees, uh, 30 degrees Celsius the last sort of a uh, couple of days and it's going to be that way all this week so we've had a few scorcher um, weeks over the last couple of weeks so that's some um, that's part of the, the country to be studying in. Um, here you'll see as well ample greenery around here in uh, Greenwood Court. Loads of little spaces for you to sort of even put out a picnic blanket or sit outside and enjoy it with your friends. We have obviously some of the benches at the front as well as some benches around the side as well, which you'll see in a bit once we uh, take you around the building. Um, we'll pick the pace up a bit and we'll get to, uh, <laughs> get to that classic room view. Uh, how many floors in total? Um, so floors in total, uh, you've got a grand floor and then three floors above that. So we only have three floors uh, on all our buildings. So it's not, not, not far to travel, <laughs> uh, not many stairs. <laughs> Shades on a day like this is absolutely perfect. Being outdoors, I'd highly recommend it. Um, let's have a look at the. We're going to have a look at a classic room first, and we'll show you the complete flats as well. Come through, Ollie. Thank you. So we're about to go to the classic room now. So this is our classic room. It's a good size room. Uh, comes with a single bed. Again, you still have the under bed storage. Loads of lights. Again, you've got your pin board. So, you know, things for your calendars. If you need a periodic table up there. Or you might be able to use it for things like photos or you know, anything that just reminds you of home, that's, that's always a good thing. We encourage students to do that and then students use it for all sorts of bits and pieces. Loads of natural light, again, good air, especially on a day like today. Radiator again. Got the, um, the, the good size desk as well, the same sort of size desk you'd have in a studio. So you've also got the three cabinet, um, the three the three holder cabinets as well. Um, with, with ample space, your room will come with a chair, so all your rooms will come with chairs um, and your drawer space. You get an extra shelf as well, so you've got some shelving and you've got a vanity basin, so where you will share um, showers and facilities in this flat. Each room has its own vanity basin, so that if you did want to brush your teeth or get some water in the night, you don't have to get, you don't have to leave your room. Um, you know, if you if you are going out to meet friends, you've also got a lovely big mirror, so you can uh, make sure you're looking all good and ready for that uh, that social event. Um, we've also got the wardrobe size is the same as you would have in the studio. It's a full size wardrobe. If you have a look, again, more than enough hanging space, drawers, and extra space on the top as well. That's our classic room. <laughs> We're going to have a look at a stand room, which is just next door. Oh, like that one. Standard room. So, going into this room, this is our standard room. So, as you'll notice, the footprint is a little bit smaller than the, than the classic room but you've still got the same, very sort of similar features. So you've got your single bed, again with your underbed storage, you've got more of our space on your pin board as well. Um, again, some extra shelving. Same size windows, your desk is smaller on this one. So you have a slightly smaller desk and a shelving unit on the wall. Um, and your vanity basin over here is just around to the side again where you've got your mirrors. Ollie, Ollie comes through this way and you can have a look on. So you've still got your vanity basin and your mirror on the wall. 
Mm -hmm. oh, there's a couple of, how about the room size of the standard? Uh, so, again, good question. It's about, uh, I believe, it's eight to nine squares, square meters. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. I think so. And then, is the building staffed 24 hours a day? So, the building has um, staff on site from uh, nine o'clock until 5.30. Thereafter, we have uh, student wardens that are on site. So, to answer your question, yes. Um, but it won't be necessarily staff members. We have what we call student wardens that are available on site. There'll be student wardens on shift. Um, and if you do have any issues, lock yourself out, that sort of stuff. That's what the student wardens are there. Obviously, uh, if for whatever reason, touch wood, we never have, you know, we've done really, we've not had any, any issues. But if you do need, um, you know, emergencies and that sort of stuff, that again, um, the, there are some call out uh, numbers that you can use for that. Um, and we have a patrol, so we actually have a patrol company as well, and, um, and they're connected up to emergency services too. So if you can't get hold of the student warden, then your next option would be to call our centralized control team. Okay. Awesome. So just again, give you a little brief show around of the, the flat. Um, as you'll see, you've got, each flat comes with two shared toilet areas, one over there and one over here. You've got a shower room just over to Ollie's left. And just through here, you've got the communal kitchen. So, communal kitchen. For this, there's seven uh, rooms in each flat. So, you've got full size fridge and a full size freezer. Again, you've got the Oven, four hob top instead of the two hob that you have inside the studio. Two lot spaces for cutting areas. Uh, a great thing that you have inside the shed flats is you have the dishwasher. Uh, and there aren't that many, uh, I don't think there's any other accommodations that actually have dishwashers in their flats. So there's a positive for us as well. Again, amazing amount of light that comes through into the space. It's a good size space. You've also got each room will have its own cupboard spaces as well. So, and that's lockable. So if you have certain food types that you know you don't necessarily want to share with your roommates, it locks as well. And you can then keep any of your bits that you want to keep secure, secure, should you feel the need to. Excellent. Oh, and then um, is there cleaning included and how often? Um, so the, to answer your question, no. Um, so your, Basically, your contract is similar to a tenancy contract. If you were renting a house, um, your flat is your flat. Um, so you know, you have set, each room will have a separate contract, but you're all collectively responsible for the common spaces. So you know, cleaning up um, the kitchen areas. We also have a inspections every quarter. So we have quarterly inspections where we'll come around and just inspect and make sure that our, you know the property is being looked after. Um, not the you know it's very much what the lettings agent would do if they were letting a home to you. Um, so every sort of quarter they come around, have a look at the property, make sure there's you know uh, if there's any maintenance works that needs, and also just make sure that the actual general cleanliness and standards are being maintained. Cool. All right. <laughs> Excellent stuff. So, um, yes, Mike's parking is included <laughs> for free. <laughs> Parking is included, yes, that's correct. <laughs> it's kind of that's on the other one. Yes, no worries. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Now we just complete the tour, we're just going to walk around a lot of the bit of the building, give you a bit of an idea of some more of the, the outdoor spaces and what's available to you. I walk backwards as quickly as I can as well. Um, so again, you know, lovely green, quiet over here. Just hear the trees and the wind whispering in the trees. Absolutely tranquil. Um, a great sort of spot in Southampton to come and sort of, you know, have a bit of a quieter sort of experience, but also, you know, within stones throw from the university. So you're very close to the university. Um, and again, you're on the bus route as well. So if you need to get into the main city center areas, it's very, very, very easy to do so. Um, you'll see on the side here, we also have some more outdoor bench spaces. This fits in the shade. So, um, 
yeah, like again, just another little quiet spot in the uh, in the main area, sort of around the building, just dots it about. Excellent. And then, how many people share one kitchen in a in an ensuite flat? I think they probably mean the standard room. The standard room, yes. Yeah, so um, we don't uh, the in the flats. The, we have seven people share a kitchen. So it's seven people per flat in that share kitchen. Any other questions, guys? Anything I can help you with? Fire away, it's a great opportunity to do so. Take my stroll back around. Yeah, we'll just take a stroll back around and finish up. Uh, so, again, uh, and what we've been really fortunate with all this space outside. Uh, during the, uh, the lockdown period, we actually had students that were using it to exercise, so they were running around the building because the, uh, the foot plan is so big and it's big enough, and obviously the air is lovely and fresh enough to do so. Um, and so we've had you know, students busy using it as, a, as an opportunity to exercise and running along the path. Um, so here we are, we've kind of made our little tour all the way back to the, uh, the front of the, 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 the building. Plans are we should have uh, during the course of the summer for next year is to get some more outdoor sort of furniture to use on the decking area, so uh, so we can enjoy the beautiful sunshine. Oh, if friends and family come to visit, how long can they stay for? So usually you can they can stay um, for one to two nights. It just depends. If you need for a bit longer, you'd need to sort of just clear it with, with the, the management just to make sure that it's okay. I mean, obviously we don't mind you having friends and visitors. It's just we don't want them. To, moving in for months at a time <laughs> um, again you know your your flat area your although your flat your room is your room you are sharing a flat with seven other people and that can get a bit crowded otherwise awesome yeah any other questions or stand near the shade yeah <laughs> absolutely roasting let's have a seat while we have a seat um, is there supermarkets near the building so there is a um, have a seat so we do have a, um, a, a co-op, which is a, a convenience store, which is nearby, literally just down the road for shopping. And then there's a large Sainsbury's, which is down in Portswood, um, which again is probably about, I mean, if you're going to cycle there, it'll be less than 15 minutes. It'll be about a sort of seven to eight minute cycle away from here. If you're going to drive, it's even quicker. Yeah, and it's going to five minutes, if, five that, minutes yeah. if that. And it's a very, it's a very large supermarket. Um, and then there are again buses that will take you from here down to the main Portswood um, area where you can change over to, to get onto one or you just walk it, it's not that far. Mm. Um, you, if you're going to walk from here to the Sainsbury's, just under half an hour or so? Yeah, probably about 20 to 25 minutes, I would say. Yeah. Oh, how, how long does it take to get to the university from here? Um, depending on what sort of mode of transport you're using, if you are using a bicycle, um, it's a bit more direct and quicker, so probably about seven minutes. Um, if you are taking the bus, it's 17 minutes, but the only reason it's 17 minutes is because it has to follow traffic, so it has to follow a certain route. Um, so that takes about 17 minutes. Uh, by car, I mean five at the most. <laughs> and then, oh, if something in the room is damaged, how long does, does it take to be repaired? So we have something called Main Manager, which is basically our maintenance management platform. Uh, if you have a problem with anything inside your room, all you need to do is um, is log it on Main Manager, and we will literally try and get it fixed within 24 hours. Um, if it does need a bit more time, we will let you know. Uh, especially if we have to order parts or anything, if it's a it's, it's an issue with a stove or something like that, we do tend to keep spares, or we, we deal with companies that have parts, but it, it it might take a little bit longer. So it might take more than 24 hours. It might take sort of 40. 48 to 72 hours, two to three days. Awesome. I think that's it for the moment. Yeah. yeah. Let's wait, see if there's any other, other any questions. questions but guys? yeah. <laughs> well, if there are any more questions, we just want to say thank you very much for joining us today. That's from myself. And Dolly, who's been a superb cameraman, <laughs> and um, we just want to say thank you for, for joining us today to have a look around, and uh, you know, we hope to hear from you soon, and we'd love to see you next year. Awesome. <laughs> right. See you later. Bye, guys.